How's it going everyone, it's Vivi and welcome to a video where I discuss the fate of Sly Cooper on the PlayStation 5. With the PS5 launching in holiday 2020, yes, it has been confirmed by CEO of PlayStation Jim Ryan. I believe it is now okay to talk about the fate of Sly Cooper for the next generation console. The PS5 is confirmed guys, so I thought now is the time. So basically what I'm leaning towards is Sony focusing on its next gen console when it comes to their games or IPs. With the PS5 having backwards compatibility with PS4 both digitally and physically due to the same architecture, there's also the possibility Sony might consider multi-platform. It's a possibility, folks. So I thought I'd throw it out there. Before I forget, I did make a poll back on October 8th. Wow, it's been that long. Where did time go? First and foremost, Jim Ryan explains they want to quickly try and transition PS4 users at a much higher scale than before. You know, have PS4 users move to the PS5 as quickly as possible. Why? Because one, developers apparently have the ease of coding everything on the PlayStation 5. And two, Jim Ryan believes the PS5 has a library of games on its way, which make him feel confident. This is according to an interview done by Game Industry. Ryan says he's confident in what PS5 has to bring. There's plenty more to announce beyond what has been shared this year, and he's personally focused on the games that will make or break PlayStation 5, just as they do every platform. Yet to deliver on its promise, Ryan says, PlayStation simply has to globalize. According to Daniel Ahmad, senior analyst at Nico Partners, this agency that covers gaming market in China and Southeast Asia, the PS5 will have major focus on first-party studios, but also believes that Sony has unannounced titles for the PS4 yet to come. Now, Sly Cooper doesn't fall in the first-party category, all right? Sony focusing on first-party titles mainly for the PlayStation 5 is currently speculative talk. Since there are unannounced titles for the PS4, I mean, who knows? 2019 will be another solid year for the platform, due to the large install base, growing network sales, strong third-party software, first-party software, and back catalog. Lineup for the first half of the year is set, but second half is still in flux. Sony also has a couple of unannounced games, already existing IP, with PS4 in mind, but I'm conscious that there has been discussions around making them cross-gen, next-gen titles. In general, most of the focus for Sony first party is on PS5 right now. It is still early to talk about next-gen, but I imagine we'll hear some whispers come out of GDC. GDC stands for Game Developers Conference. First party titles that come to mind, for example, we got Ghost of Tsushima by Sucker Punch, former developers for Sly Cooper, and we have Last of Us Part 2 by Naughty Dog. That one's planned for PS4, but who knows, maybe that one might go multi-platform once the PS5 launches. Now onto the meat of the video, Sly Cooper. Why in the world am I talking about Sly Cooper apart from the obvious, you know, my niche? Well, these days platformers, such as Spyro, Crash, and Action Platformer, like Ratchet & Clank, well, these are all vital IPs, very important to both Sony and Activision when it comes to sales. Technically, Spyro and Crash are Activision's property, but the fact Sony is using Crash as their furry cartoon mascot, yeah, I feel Sony is now even more attached to Crash, thanks to the sales. Despite the lack of legal ownership, it's only a matter of time before we see another Crash and Spyro game get released on a PlayStation console. The one thing I will never forget when it comes to Sly Cooper, I say this in a bunch of my videos, the fact Sony allowed Sly Cooper to get a movie treatment. Look, although the movie didn't happen, basically Sly Cooper, when it comes to television or cinema, it's been stuck in development hell. Yes, I did use the word hell because I'm gonna have to start using bad words due to this whole FTC COPPA thing. <laughs> Just kidding. Sly Cooper, don't forget Sony allowed its IP to be handled by a third-party studio. This is about the movie I'm talking about. Long story short, the movie got quote-unquote canned, it was never officially confirmed to have been cancelled. There's simply been this talk of, oh, the movie being replaced by a TV show. We're still waiting for updates on that. But this time, I don't know if you've heard, but Sony is open to the idea of turning some of their IPs into either a movie or TV show. It's very likely PlayStation Productions, this new department at Sony, picked up Sly, with Sony Pictures being the new distributor. They probably no longer want to outsource Sly Cooper to a different company. 
So right now, it is likely Sly Cooper is going through a very big internal change. So if Sony is willing to invest in that department, producing a TV show, what's stopping them from giving us a new Sly Cooper game? Apart from the usual Sly Thieves in Time not selling well, you're absolutely right about that one. The fourth game ended with a cliffhanger, let's not forget. There's no reason for Sony to let go of Sly Cooper other than the most obvious, being the sales. These days, it's all about sales and business. So with that notion in mind, I can easily wrap up the video right now, saying Sly 4 sold poorly, so the series is dead. Honestly, that's what you come across the majority of the time on online threads. But me, who talks about Sly Cooper basically all the time, the fact Sony is considering a TV show, and Crash and Spyro, cartoony games selling millions, Hopefully Medieval PS4 falls in that category as well, don't forget the game ended up in the top 10 UK sales charts for two weeks consecutively. So with these cartoony nature games selling well, and with the possibility of Sony still considering a TV show for Sly Cooper, Sony now probably thinks, oh there's still a market out there for cartoony games. There's this big nostalgia out there. Ratchet & Clank, according to former chairman of Sony Interactive Entertainment Worldwide Studios, Sean Layden, he did step down. Ratchet & Clank is vital. Ratchet & Clank is the best selling game produced by Insania Games, when it comes to the Ratchet & Clank library, of course. Not to compare it with the Marvel Spider-Man. Don't forget about merchandise when it comes to Sly. We got a stub in Splush, don't forget, officially licensed by Sony. We have gaming heads. New statues set to release in Q1 2020. Gaming Head's new statue was marketed as Sly 3. They did delay it due to fan complaints. Since it was marketed as a Sly 3 model, people thought, hey, wait a minute, the backpacks don't match. He doesn't have like a backpack in 3, the leg pouch, the color doesn't even match. So with that, they delayed it and uh, tweaked the design. Make something that's closer to Sly 1's design. Sanzaro, the team behind the last main titled Sly game, is willing to continue the series. They just constantly kept saying it's not up to them to decide. It's rather Sony's decision, it's their IP after all. Let me play a clip from E3 2015 for the sake of nostalgia, and I believe this still applies. Final question, I know you guys did Sly Cooper, oh, a lot boy. of us were big Sly Cooper fans. I want to ask, uh, could we see a future Sly Cooper from Zenzaru? Is that a possibility? You know, uh, I love that franchise. Um, I feel that uh, it, we left it with a cliffhanger. I want to clean it up. I would rather have the story of Sly and the gang finished properly and we'll figure out where he is and what's going on. But that's really up to uh, Sony and Mr. Shu Yoshida. So, you know what? If you guys want it, hit up Sony. Tell them Sanzaro needs to make more Sly Cooper, and you never know, it might happen. Sanzaro Games always told us to contact the head of Sony, Shuhei Yoshida. Fun fact, this doesn't mean much, but it did put quite a smile on my face. Yoshida liked a tweet of someone mentioning Sly 5 being produced by Sanzaru. After all these years, we now know that Mr. Yoshida, the one Sanzaru told us to contact after all these years, leaves a like. There's finally proof of Yoshida noticing Sly Cooper. <laughs> Yoshida was president of Worldwide Studios, he did step down as well. He got replaced by Herman Hulst, who was managing director and co-founder of Guerrilla Games. I mean a former president of Worldwide Studios liking a tweet, especially Sly Cooper. Out of all other games out there, that's the number one way of getting fans too excited. Don't get your hopes up, but this is cool nonetheless. I had to bring this up in the video. So. Why hasn't anything happened? If Crash and Spyro are selling so well, why is Sly Cooper still dead? Because 1. They had planned a movie in 2014, originally set to release in 2016. That didn't happen. And now they shifted focus. They moved on to a TV show, which we are yet to see updates happen. And here we are, 2019, almost 7 years since the launch of Sly 4. If the movie had come to fruition, Sony perhaps would have greenlit a reimagining of Sly 1. Just like how Ratchet and Clank got a reimagining of the first game, due to the movie. Some will say, well good thing that didn't happen to Sly Cooper because Ratchet and Clank 2016 lacked. I can't disagree on that. But still, the mere possibility of Sly 1 getting reimagined due to a movie, which could have happened, I mean, it's still something. Heck, that's still possible if this TV show goes full throttle. That's option number one, basically. Would they call it a remake, a reimagining, or a reboot? For now, 
I'd personally call this game a reboot. Remake would be taking everything from Sly 1 and just give it a nice HD filter. Reimagining? Taking Ratchet and Clank 2016 as an example, the story is the main focus. Change up the story of Sly 1, retell it in a different way, but keep the gameplay style similar. If not, change it up a little. A reboot, I'd say is the biggest word out of the bunch. It could mean either take the story of Sly 1, or change it up, but also update the mechanics completely, so it matches the nature of gameplay of 2, 3, and 4. You know, big hub worlds, no more one hit point as health, all that kind of stuff. Now hold up, whatever this reboot is, are we talking about a reboot of Sly 1? Or say, season 1 of the TV show? Ratchet and Clank got a game based off the film, so who knows what Sony might be thinking. They might do this as well, uh, just promote a reboot of Sly 1 along with the TV show. The game not necessarily having ties to the TV show, season 1 in particular. I'd personally love the latter. Release the show, but don't make the game based off it. Just reboot Sly 1 and market both of these formats together. Just please Sony, use better marketing tactic for the TV show at least. Many people are speculating that the success of the TV show, let's say, could greenlight a new game. Whatever its nature, either a reboot, a reimagining, or a remake, sure. However, what's scary about that notion? If the show fails, then no game. Look at Ratchet & Clank, the movie bombed. Poor marketing, and yet the game sold immensely. Fastest selling Ratchet & Clank game. So I'm hoping, regardless of the outcome of the show, Sony still considers greenlighting a new game. If not for a remake, reboot or reimagining, we also have the option of the most anticipated game when it comes to Sly, Sly 5. Would they consider a sequel after so many years? Sure, why not? Sly 4 happened 8 years after Sly 3, and why? Because a team by the name Sanzaro Games approached Sony with a prototype. They said, alright, but first things first, you guys have to remaster the trilogy for PlayStation 3. Remaster, aka HD port. A lot of people seem to interchange the terms remake with remaster. Sly 5 could potentially be a launch title with the PS5 now on the horizon. You know, an easy way to get people to buy the game. And nostalgia, don't forget, is playing a very huge role in sales these past couple of years. It's like people are craving cartoony games again. Spyro Crash, Ratchet and Clank, Medieval is selling well so far. Sly 5 as a launch title would be a perfect opportunity to bump up sales. Sony could consider a remastered collection of the trilogy plus Sly 4. Fix the load times of Sly 4, please. Release the bunch on PS4 and throw in a Sly 5 teaser for PlayStation 5. Just like how we had a teaser of Sly 4 in the PS3 collection. However, I feel releasing another collection on PlayStation 5 would be a better way of testing the waters. A new audience, a new system, why not? If not for any of these categories, last resort, a comic book. Wrapping up Sly 4. And then focus on a reboot for PlayStation 5. The thing I said before Sanzaru approaching Sony 8 years later, at this point Sony might not even consider Sly 5. So instead they could release a comic and then put more focus on a reboot due to the TV show. Hopefully being on the horizon. All in all, I would like to summarize the future of Sly Cooper by using five categories. Remaster, Remake, Reimagining, Sequel, and Reboot. A remaster is an HD port. Upscale the graphics and port the collection to a different console by also fixing some issues such as load times, especially Sly 4. A remake. It's a close to 1 to 1 ratio, keeping everything the same but update the visuals, engine, etc. People really interchange the terms remaster and remake, but I feel they're two different things. 3. Reimagining. This one has more focus on the story side of things. The story being retold. Keep slight elements from the original story, but keep the same mechanics. 4. A sequel, obvious, a continuation of Sly Thieves in Time, aka Sly 5. 5. The biggest word out of the bunch, apart from sequel of course. Keep the story the same, or change it up a little, but completely update the mechanics to suit the nature of 2, 3, and 4's gameplay. Some might interchange the terms reboot with reimagining, or remake with reboot. Heck, some might find the word reimagining unnecessary, like what's the point? It sounds too similar to reboot, right? But reimagining, as I said before, is geared more towards how the story is told. They mainly change up the story. But as for changing up the story and the mechanics, I like to call that 
or reboot. But anyways, that's just how I like to explain these terms. Maybe you guys have different descriptions for these terms? <laughs> I don't know. But I thought I'd share my own thoughts on it, alright? So with that being said, guys, this is it for the video. So tell me in the comment section below, with the PlayStation 5 on its way for holiday 2020, do you feel like Sly Cooper still has a future, apart from the TV show? Do you feel like the TV show will mainly push Sony to release a new game or whatnot? Or will Sony just consider Sly Cooper as another profitable IP, thanks to, you know, Crash, Spyro, and Ratchet and & Clank? Leave all of your thoughts in the comment section below, alright? So with that being said, I've been Vivi, and thank you so much for watching.